Hello, 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 Brandon, sir. Before we check in and do our usual, what we're geeking on, we have yep. Dwayne news. We Dwayne <coughs> Dwayne news. Or better yet, Jamie, a little segment we like to call a chip off the old rock. Jamie Noguchi, go ahead and hit me with that sweet Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> Give me that rock bottom news. <laughs> a rock bottom. Give me the people's information. Famed people's champion. Famed famed actor who yep. once declared he would never, ever, 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 ever work with one Vin I am Groot family diesel. Mm-hmm. Ever, 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 again. Yeah. Solid Jericho. Ever again. Again, 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 is apparently returning to the family in this latest installment of the Fast and Furious making whoa. a cameo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, one, you are spoiling people without actually spoiling people. And <laughs> I think you need to fucking pump the brakes a little bit, my dude, because Jesus Christ. All right, just, just right out of the gate. Let's just slow this motherfucker down a little bit. <clears throat> So Jamie already spilled the beans. So oh, sorry, for anyone, for spoilers. anyone who spoiler, you know, I I guess spoilers. fucking spoilers. die angry. I don't know what to tell you. Um, <laughs> I don't really care. You, you're. It's a Fast and Furious movie. What are we spoiling? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I realistically, the only thing they have left are people yeah. who can randomly show up. We don't watch these for in-depth plot or character. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> you might not watch these for in-depth plot. <laughs> we we watch these for cars that go fast. Uh, and and one of the most diverse franchises in in there is history. that there like, is that. But like, like they're gonna they were gonna spoil that anyway to get oh them, yeah hundred percent like the advertising was going to come out. There's going to be a rock shaped shadow in one of the trailers. Come on, come on, motherfucker. Like, yeah, well, you know, you know what it's, you know what it's, what it's going to be. Tej's phone is going to ring and it's going to say Samoan Thor. S- Samoan Thor. <laughs> and that's, that's how we're going to know that the rocks coming back. Yeah. So, um, we are not a movie podcast, but let's do what movie podcasts do best <laughs> and speculate, speculate, and talk right out of our Rudy Poo candy asses about yeah. things we know nothing about. Outstanding. It seems to me, it seems to me, it seems to me that one Rocky Johnson was banking on Black Adam being a little bit more well received than perhaps it was. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps he was thinking he, he was banking on becoming the, the new. Well, standard in the I, DCU. I, I, I think they were all, they were also hoping on a series of Hobbs and Shaw movies too. Oh yeah, why didn't that ever happen? To my understanding, Vin owns the rights to the Fast and Furious franchise, and that they need to have Vin clear them. So this Ooh. might be the stepping stone to that. Because my understanding is they got in a pissing match uh, with the studio about this. Oh yeah, because uh, I because we we watched that, we reviewed that, and show whatever the fuck it was. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we liked it. It was it was fun. It, it was it was it was perfectly fun. Yeah, there were moments. That I actually got choked up like grandma or ma ma. Yeah, we, chunkla, like, yeah, her, yes. Her, yeah. Yeah. Like that there there were a lot of fun moments with that. Um, I would argue that it is <sighs> better than some Fast and Furious movies, but not as good as the lion's share of Fast and Furious movies. Sure, but I it was good enough, at least for me, that I I, I could see uh, yeah, like, I, a little I, pocket universe thing. Yeah, I, I would easily go and watch another one without question. Um. So so why do you think so why do you think that uh, Rocky the Scorpion money. King Johnson money? You think it's money? Money. I think it's money. I think it's the studio pressuring him to do it. I think Dwayne has reasonably another ten years of action movies that he can do. 
without feeling like Sylvester Stallone, where oh. people are like, ooh, it's real <laughs> impressive you're able to do that at your age. And like, don't get me wrong, Stallone doing it is goddamn impressive. Those fucking Expendables movies, he was in his 70s. Oh, like, man, those were fuck, fun, yeah. They're a ton of fun. And that dude is fucking swole as swole gets as not just for you know 70 whatever the fuck he was like he looked like a credible badass who i would argue looked in his late 50s like guy puts the fucking work in i can't argue that and much like everything else that he writes he he is going to star in it like that is how he operates. He writes for himself yeah. and yeah, yeah. good on him. Cause I've seen what happens when he doesn't. So like, <laughs> look, we, we chuckle and everything else like that, but stop or my mom will shoot is no expendables and it's no Rocky. Like it's that's no true. Rambo. Like, yeah, like, like it, the things that he's known best for as his. So like to his credit, I, get, I fucking get it. Um, I think he drags series out a little too long, but whatever. Yeah. That's, that's, you know, Go on for getting the payday. Speaking of that, uh, as a quick sidebar, and we will double back to to one, uh, you know, my Dwayne Johnson. Um, you did hear that this is now three movies at the end, not yes, two. Yes. Uh, so I guess Vin's concerned about not actually getting hired anywhere else other than voiceover work. Um, yeah. So I, I don't know. I don't really care. Honestly, yes, because what Vin Diesel needs is more fucking money. Like I, that, (laughs) that is all ego at that point. Like I, I, I commend him for it because I couldn't do it. I couldn't yeah. turn street shark commercials and cut off <laughs> t-shirts, obviously, into a lucrative career. Like, dude, put the fucking work in. I get it. I got no real heat, honestly. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, that whole thing initially felt like fucking ego. And mm. Dwayne's ego got in the way. And that's why Black Adam sucked. Yeah, it was because Black Adam shouldn't be a hero. No. And Dwayne doesn't want to be a villain. Yeah. Realistically, he should be the heavy for a Shazam movie. And the fact that he wasn't is is a problem. The fact that they they decided to spin that off because Dwayne is Dwayne. If Dwayne doesn't want to be a bad guy, he shouldn't have agreed to be cast as a villainous character. Well, yeah, and and it hurt Shazam too because Shazam two just kind of deflated. It hit at the box office and just kind of deflated. I th- I think the the Shazam kids is probably what hurt Shazam too. But you know, the, I, honestly, like Zachary Levy put a ton of work into that first one, but that franchise is never meant to be all that fucking good. Because name me any good Shazam comic or cartoon. That he's done but, any real like we we've had how many fucking years of Shazam and we haven't even had one like holy shit why don't they do this yeah. storyline like he is perfectly serviceable and I understand the story arc and everything else like that but it's just no well, no I th- I think um if if Black Adam did show up in Shazam two that could have been. Hit. Instant yeah, that, that could have been an instant hit, right? Because instant it would have been Dwayne doing what Dwayne needed to do. That that but, could have got that could have gotten a Billy, or at least a close to it. Like I, I feel like the that that could have propelled the franchise into something bigger. Yeah, I don't know. It, it, it could have. It could have expanded the DCEU. Like, it, it, like it, it could have really become a thing, or we could have just cast Dwayne in something the fuck else. Yeah. Like what? Like, what stops him from being he Batman? Be a lantern. He could be a Batman. He could be a Lantern. He could be a Batman. Batman. A, a, a Lantern's a great step. He could. He could be John. Uh, uh, he could have been a Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter. Oh, he would have made yeah. a great Martian yeah. Manhunter. Yeah, and you can and you can interact with everyone. You can right, to, right. He, he could, could. He could, could dip in and out universe. of fucking everything. Yeah. Like Black Adam, he, is he, just, Black Adam is a bad choice. It was a Black, bad choice. There are Black Adam fans, but like you gotta sure go, great. You gotta no, go, I, look, you gotta I, go deep. You, you gotta go. Deep. You gotta carve into that lore a little bit. Yeah. And like I understand the theory because what they were trying to do, I think, I think, is in the same sense as Iron Man was never or wasn't a top tier hero until no. the movie. Yeah. I think they were hoping to hit with a lower tier character. 
with a big name actor and a fair bit of other stuff around it. And what I ended up doing was watching the thing and went, I like the rest of the cast and I like Dwayne. I don't care for Black Adam. Yeah, the cast was great. And we're never going to see them again. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like Pierce Brosnan is Dr. Fate. I, I've said it before. One of the better castings I've ever seen in a superhero yeah. movie. And He's, Hawkman. I've Hawkman, never given a yeah. shit about Hawkman. I he still don't. Awesome in that. I still don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hawk Girl is where it's fucking at, and the fact that you didn't fucking encourage that is goddamn disappointing. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. So, yeah, I, Black I, Adam was the wrong choice for Dwayne. Black Adam was the wrong choice for Dwayne, and I, the reason is, I genuinely, I think he is. Ha- I think he has a decade of superhero movies left, and then he's going to start running for office. Ooh, I don't want that. You, you don't have a fucking choice. You do know that that is the premise, literally, of Young Rock, right? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. That's the story. He's running for president. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's been teasing this shit for fucking 15 years. God. He's done, he's done God. magazine articles and web art and web interviews and all sorts of stuff like that. And he has been teasing a presidential run for fucking ever. And I think he's been slowly dipping his toes into it and he'll find something, but reasonably he's going to make his money while he can. So if he ends up getting laughed out of the thing, he ends up basically walking away and selling tequila and joking around and being an action star for a bit. But like, I don't think he wants to be Arnold or Sly. I think he wants to be yeah. something more. Well, even if, even if he runs and doesn't make it, he's still going to get a lot of cachet off of that. And just gobs and gobs of super pack money. They're just going to like, right. Sprinkle right. Sprinkle cash all over the Johnson. Uh, uh, it, it depends on, ticket. right. Right. Oh, I'd like, uh, 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 yeah. Because who's reasonably going to try and debate Dwayne Johnson? Fuck. I've said it before. I've said it. I'll, I'll continue to say it until it inevitably happens. But Dwayne is actively trying to mend every single fence he possibly can <laughs> to try and make himself look like an <laughs> ultimate good guy. He's going to cash in as much money as he possibly can. He's going to bite his tongue and he is going to absolutely pivot this motherfucker. I'm telling you right now, it is a slow burn oh, into no. the tail end of his career. Uh, there's, yeah, we we have to mark this episode number one seventy. You you've, pre- you've said this you every time. Yeah, if you predict I predicted, it. I predicted this multiple yeah. times in this podcast. I yeah. don't care about getting credit for it. Yeah, you I'm should just, get credit for it. But but that's the thing is like I don't think I should because he's been fucking he's been <laughs> fucking shooting that shot nonstop. Yeah. yeah, right. All he has to do is act. <laughs> if he did it tomorrow. Oh God! If he did it tomorrow, oh God! How many people would rather vote for Dwayne Johnson than Biden or Trump? Oh yeah! Oh for sure, for sure. I I think you would get he would like he wouldn't even have to declare a side. He could be like completely independent and take the wind out of both their sails. Just Jesus Christ! He like he drips charisma. Right. Like right. Now, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to bring this up because I couldn't find like a good source on this and I don't quite understand what's going on. But if we're talking about political runs, he has to sidestep this $3 billion lawsuit, this kidnapping lawsuit, which names him as one of the, one of the defendants. Have you heard about this, Brandon? No. Oh, my God. Okay, so... Um, he has been named in a $3 billion lawsuit on kidnapping charges. Wait, uh, wait, wait, hang on, hang on. A civil lawsuit. I'm, I'm not sure. See, well, criminal lawsuits don't, don't have monetary value. And if it was, it was a criminal lawsuit, it would be for charges, not for punitive damages. Okay. All right. So that, that is, that is my understanding. So, okay. so there is not enough precedence here to say that, that Dwayne Johnson, that Dwayne Johnson kidnaps someone and there's enough proof to bring charges against him. So this person is yeah. naming Dwayne Johnson among others, other plaintiffs. Yeah. Or other, other, anyone else of, of prominence. 
Uh, let me see. Well, so the person is the person filing the lawsuit is um, Trinisha Biggers, uh, okay, formerly known as Raka Khan. She was a WWE diva, I think. Okay, I, I'm not so I'm not familiar. Name doesn't sound familiar, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. She could have been in developmental or OVW or whatever it is. So, what decade does this supposedly happen? Uh, I'm trying nineties more more information yeah it's like it's like back in the day right so so we're talking 97 back when rocky or rock was rocky johnson maybe maybe oh it also it also names fucking michael jordan which which sounds wild and like the fbi somehow i mm, i don't understand what's happening wait hang on pause time out look i I, I want to go on record here because yep. this, the, I, I understand none of this. That's, that's why I wasn't sure if I should. Be right. <laughs> well, I, I, I want to clarify something before anyone starts to paint us one way or the other. In the lion's share of situations, I tend to believe and trust in the victim or someone who is assuming something and then let the facts try and work themselves out without trying to make any formal accusations. There are some things that like, boy, howdy, that feels right. Um, but in this case, we're talking about someone who in theory, based on what you're telling me in context worked with or fraternized with Dwayne Johnson back in the day. Mm -hmm. But you were also telling me that this same kidnapping allegedly also includes Michael Jordan. That's yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, but weren't the bulls winning championships during this timeline? Um, Let me see here. Yeah, I'm trying. I see. I tried to do research before this, and I, like, I just, I just want to hear when this happened. Um, blah 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 blah. I'm also trying to be very, very fair and even-handed with this, based on what literally just transpired with between Trump and E. Jean Carroll, and I want to make sure that it doesn't seem like we are infinitely just throwing away someone's accusations. However, without additional context of everything the idea of michael jordan being involved now to be fair uh i'm trying to remember his name but the third one of the fujis not wyclef not lauren hill but the third guy proswell uh, yeah pros just got fucking uh yeah. <laughs> indicted for fucking uh all sorts of wild shit embezzlement and all sorts of stuff like that so like i'm not saying it's not possible that some fucking celebrities could be involved in some shit but like MJ's real fucking high fucking uh, profile is the word I'm looking for. Like MJ doesn't get to take a shit without somebody noticing. How is yeah. he? Did he hire oh. it? So this, this is from 2002. This case was filed. The suit was filed back in 2002. Wait, the suit was filed back in 2002. The suit was filed in, back in 2002. Okay. Um, claiming conspiracy in her relationship to an ongoing Texas criminal case listing among other defendants, the state of Texas, El Paso child protective services, FBI, the La the Las Cruces, New Mexico police department, the NYPD national center for missing and exploited children, New York ACS. Wait, hang on. Are all the things you're naming defendants? These are all named in the suit here. Let me see. named in the suit doesn't necessarily mean anything. That means they, they could just be references or some sort of citing of something or whatever it is, or somebody, something, someone who the defendant spoke to or something like that, that they think are some sort of credible witnesses. Yeah. The idea that the list is that large and it's, that varied yeah. feels a bit Billy, uh, Billy Corgan, the late Chris Benoit, like, it's it's everybody like everybody it seems seems like a lot okay uh so your so your question to me and i want to make sure i'm understanding this correctly yeah. your question <clears throat> and i want to look right in the camera for this yeah. your question to me is will a, an outstanding lawsuit by someone filed in 2002 Keep Dwayne Johnson from running for president. Yeah. No. (laughs) 
I'm going to take all of the excess, like all, all of the things that you just told me yeah. and put them in a box and say they don't matter. Anything that has been hanging out that long with someone that high fucking uh, level as Dwayne Johnson, if it had any real teeth, it had been handled. Yeah. They'd have settled or something. Like, if, if Dwayne was worried about this at all, he'd have NDA'd and fucking settled. Yeah. Former TNA star. I, I, I mean... I, <sighs> found a lawsuit back in October. Hang on, Jamie. Okay, so the... Uh, October 2022. Right. I thought you said 2002. Oh, shit. No, I'm sorry. 2022. Okay, so that leads a little bit more credibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I, okay, I, so I, I hang my, on. I, I I'm just going to give everyone for fucking context for this. So this is via PW Insider, which is a relatively reputable uh, wrestling rag that it tends to leak a lot of things that happen. And uh, for better or for worse, they're... Um, their accuracy rating is, I'd say, better part of 80%. So uh, now this seems speculative and everything else like that. So <clears throat> former TNA star told she can move forward with lawsuit against dozens of defendants, including WWE and Impact personalities and the NWA, among others. So uh, this is via Mike Johnson, who also does a lot of the reporting for them. This would make sense as to why he's involved in it. This story was published on uh, April 20th, 2023. Ironic, it's published on 420. Um, all right. So, uh, <laughs> as previously reported on PWInsider.com, former TNA and WWE developmental star uh, Trinisha, quote unquote, Raka Khan uh, Biggers filed a lawsuit back in October 2022 before the U.S. District Court, Southern District of New York. Uh, SCNY is the one that handles most of the large cases. They're the one going after Trump as well, uh, claiming conspiracy against her. By the way, um, SDNY also handles national cases, which is why probably it's filed under SDNY because she's naming so many defendants in this in this case it's a it's a lot it's a so lot. she's at least filing in the correct location okay anyway um claiming a conspiracy against her in relation to an ongoing texas criminal case listing among others as defendants here we go Def listing as defendants so these are people that she is accusing of things the state of texas the El Paso Child Protective Services, the FBI, the Las Cruces New Mexico Police Department, the NYPD, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, New York ACS, Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated, Shirley Police Department, Sigma Phi Epsilon, Suffolk County, New York, The Rock, WWD, by the way, The Rock is listed before WWD personalities, <laughs> WWE personalities, The Miz and Maurice, current Impact Wrestling <laughs> star Heath Miller WWE Hall of Famer Nikki Bella and the late Chris Benoit former WWE talent Mark Jindrak the now defunct Panda Energy uh, which owned TNA in, uh, Impact Home Depot the now defunct Florida Championship Wrestling Steve Kier uh, Kern National Wrestling Alliance NWA President Billy Corgan so Billy Corgan uh, was a wasn't is a booker for NWA and I believe uh, is president and I believe he's also partial owner of NWA mm -hmm. um, now defunct Deep South Wrestling Bank of America basketball star Michael Jordan several university several universities we're not there are so many universities in this laundry list of lists we're not even going to name the universities <clears throat> yeah Jim Cornette, human piece of shit. I mean, um, he, he belongs in that. Fucking place. good. Sue him. I hope he loses. Yeah. Mick Foley, the New York City area energy company, Con Edison, and <clears throat> countless, countless others. others. So it says the law, the lawsuit alleges in, uh, that the defense Sorry, that the defendants all, quote unquote, conspired to kidnap plaintiff and her children. So, 
Let's see. Uh, been a movement for months. Court records now indicate that in February, Biggers was authorized to move forward in the lawsuit with prepaying any court fees. Court records indicate she notified by mail of the developments in March and at home address she lists in New York City on the lawsuit. The 48-page lawsuit shows Biggers seeking $3 billion in damages. I don't know how the fuck that breaks down. The majority of the filing is long-listed defendants, some of whom are listed multiple times. None of the defendants listed have been served as of this writing. Uh, let's see. Texas court indicates the Biggers has still has a bench warrant out for her uh, after not appearing for a criminal trial in December of 2022 in Texas, where she was to face charges of interference with child custody and quote unquote aggravated kidnapping uh, facilitate. Uh, yeah. Uh, in the state of big old mess in the state of Texas, interference with child custody is when someone quote unquote takes or retains a child when that person knows that the taking or detention of the child violates a judgment or order. So basically near as I'm reading in between the lines, she had her kids and refused to give them to the other parent or guardian or whatever it is, or took her kids against the will and is basically claiming that, you know, she has a right to her children, what Mm -hmm. have you. I'm not trying to speculate one way or the other, but that is my my read of what that means. Uh, yeah. Anyway, in her lawsuit, Biggers makes reference to being taken to Rikers Island, a jail in New York City, after U.S. Marshals arrived at her home in New York City to arrest her in October 2021. But they failed to prove, uh, sorry, they pair they failed to provide a scintilla quote unquote a scintilla scintilla of scintilla. evidence a scintilla uh, of evidence in a hearing about her extradition she claims that a judge overseeing the hearing ordered her released, but a, but the arrest and hearing allowed for the quote unquote kidnapping of her children and that the law enforcement agencies involved quote unquote failed to intervene. So she supposedly got arrested and that's why this happened. So mm-hmm. <clears throat> Beers also cites the quote unquote, the terroristic tactics, actions and events whew, have caused her to be unable to gain employment and has quote unquote destroyed her professional wrestling career. Biggers has been indicted on those charges way back in August 2019, leading to her being listed as one of El Paso's most wanted fugitives Whoa. after failing to appear in court. There are two court instances where her no shows led to her bail being revoked. She was finally arraigned in December 2019. At that point, a bench warrant for arrest was issued for the missing hearing but rest, but rescinded after she posted a six thousand dollar bond biggers last wrestled in 2011 she wrestled in last in 2011 and is claiming that a suit or that a kidnapping that happened in 2021 is keeping her from wrestling <laughs> yeah Okay, <clears throat> Biggers last wrestled in 2011 for the now defunct Lucha Libre USA promotion, which aired on MTV. I remember that shit. That was good. Uh, yeah. Biggers was part of the 2005 WWE Diva search and was assigned to a developmental contract after failing to make it past the top 25 contenders in oh, search. She was sent to Deep South Wrestling, but was released in May 2006. She worked for a number of independent promotions and in Japan before signing with Impact Wrestling in 2008. Departing that, that pro- production in that, familiar. that promotion in 2009. She worked for Lucha Libre USA in 2010 and 2011. Uh, Biggers has been posting videos on YouTube in relation to a criminal case, claiming the indictment was quote unquote fake, uh, but later made the videos private. So, um, <clears throat> so let's recap. Like <laughs> <clears throat> She has bench warrants out that she managed to get cleared up by paying a bond, but was one of El Paso's most wanted uh, fugitives, um, has filed a suit against multiple people, including Michael Jordan, which, by the way, good luck with any of this, because I feel like this list is so big that you are literally throwing anything against the wall. Like, if, if this was... You know, uh, there was a kidnapping charge that was based on her basically being part of like OVW or Southern Mm -hmm. Championship Wrestling or whatever it is. And she got kidnapped by a couple developmental guys or something like that. And Dwayne Johnson happened to be one of the guys on developmental on the way up. And 
you know, she didn't want to go out drinking with them. They took her drinking against her will, whatever it is. And that's the kidnapping charge. That seems fucking credible. The idea yeah. that she gets arrested for something else that she caused. And then supposedly the state wants to take her kids that she's calling those two things, kidnapping and attempted kidnapping. No, <laughs> no, honestly, I bet if you look, I bet there's probably the better part. And I'm, I'm betting this is a small number. There are probably 50 lawsuits against Dwayne Johnson right now in the books. Mm, mm. Like I, I, I am betting that there are just a ton of laws. Like I have to believe just at that level, you just get sued for shit. False advertising. Pet Rock, Pet Rock wants their, their Pet, cut. Pet, Pet Rock, Rock wants their cut. You know, people claiming that they saw Dwayne Johnson do something in a in a movie or a video or whatever it is, and they claim that it's this bunch of bodybuilders trying to do Dwayne's workout or Dwayne's fucking uh, diets or something like that. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, somebody who does Dwayne jo- all of you know YouTube videos for all of Dwayne Johnson's cheat days, and then ends up with like. <laughs> you know, complications or heart disease. Corner. Or, right. Yeah. Like right. And has to have their medical bills paid and they're blaming Dwayne Johnson for eating too much and setting too high of a bar or whatever. The, like mm-hmm. people were a very litigious society. Like, people <laughs> sue for fucking anything. So you don't think this three Billy is going to make it. I, <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say, <laughs> I don't think Billy Corgan's worried about this. I think Dwayne Johnson <laughs> doesn't even know about this. Yeah. If, if he does, it seemed wild. It, it is wild. Like I, I don't mean to be defamatory toward anyone, or or right. or flipping or blow off someone who is genuinely going through what sounds like an incredibly rough time in their life, where oh, they are oh, trying yeah. to to deal with a lot of personal stuff. And I don't know which one of, if all of the parties listed in this lawsuit are liable or not. It feels like an incredibly large list of people. So I don't know how you prove this without a ridiculously large wall, a lot of thumbtacks and a lot of string um, mm-hmm. because it just, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. The, the, right. the, the story as a whole, just, it feels like you are just looking for somebody to pay that bill. Also, no one takes a $3 billion lawsuit seriously, unless you're suing Fox news. <laughs> that's true those dumb because you have to you have to sue someone with that sort of coffers how does it, how does that break down yeah well yeah because you it's it's not just one person you have to like split the three billy amongst all of amongst them. all of them right right all these defendants right so like is it and, is it an equal cut between all of these defendants is it right i right, think that's right. literally them putting out a suit against everyone also i don't know what attorney would even bring this suit um, well, that's that was the other question, right? right? Yeah, I, I don't even does understand she, how she have represented. I, I assume she has to to file the lawsuit properly, unless fucking legal yeah. zoom. Which, by the way, fucking do it, cast fans. If you're looking for legal advice, use <laughs> legalzoom.com. Use offer code what the fuck <laughs> for ten percent back. Now I know it probably won't work, but fuck it, try it anyway. Try it. Try and it. if you don't, send legal zoom an email. Tell them, hey, you should be supporting little fucking do it, cast. Use the Honey app. You'll get her just... Yeah, that's why I I tell you to use Mark Marin's fucking passcode offer code WTF. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... <sighs> I don't see. I so, no. So, I no. 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 So, in conclusion, Dwayne Johnson, twenty twenty eight. Uh, no. I again. I I think he is. I think he is. Yeah. Twenty thirty two. Twenty thirty two. I I think reasonably we've got ten years. I think he is going to want to get far enough away from this Trump thing mm-hmm. to see where everything is. Because reasonably, by the time all of this shakes out, he could be a right-leaning centrist and easily grab the lion's share of the populace. Ugh, you yeah. you say that, but yeah. it all also depends on who he's running against. Well, yeah, and I like there's there's no doubt in my mind he's he's on the right. That's right. Like, no, I under I understand that. Like he 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 yeah. is a Florida dwelling pro wrestler who makes a lot of fucking money 
I, I, I yeah. like drives a giant pickup is is yeah. super duper pro military and absolutely waves the fucking flag and everything like there, there's no yeah, way yeah, that yeah, he yeah. is not right leaning. I am not confused about that at all. Now, it could be he could be Republican classic and it could be more of a fiscal Republican and not necessarily like Tea Party fiscal Republican, but like, you know, old school kind of fiscal Republican um, mm-hmm. that. Maybe he wouldn't seem quite so crazy because, you know, you know how this works. Uh, if yeah. you went back and looked at fucking Reagan's immigration policy, you think he was Bernie Sanders. So, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like <sighs> it, all he really has to do is be not terribly crazy, be as charismatic as he already is and not spout off anything terribly hurtful or bananas. And that's a extremely low bar. It's a terribly low bar, and one that he and could he'll, he'll absolutely like, crush. <laughs> and yeah. honestly, yeah. I challenge any world leader to pick a fight with Dwayne Johnson. Oh yeah, come on, President Rock? Are you kidding me? Like as comical <laughs> as that is, have him walk in. Imagine him meeting Xi Jinping. <laughs> <laughs> and being terribly respectful, but also towering over, oh. towering over Putin and Viktor Orban and all of these fucking douchebags. And, God. you know, suit being swole iron. Imagine he changes the fucking uh, co- uh, bowling alley out for a fucking iron paradise. The presidential private fucking gym. Yeah, just just clanging and banging all day long. Puts a presidential seal down on the bottom of his fucking gym. <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing. Right, it would be fucking amazing. He wouldn't need. He wouldn't need the first lady to run the president's council. He doesn't have one. He, he doesn't. Right. He yeah. doesn't have one. He doesn't need a first lady. He'd also be the first bachelor president in some time. Yeah. God. He so could totally it. do it. I hate it. It's going to happen. Right, right. It. But like name me fucking anyone right now on the Democratic side who if Dwayne Johnson decided that he was going to run as the Republican candidate and manages to go toe to toe with Donald Trump and literally walks out and goes, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> This, this, you're, you're going to pick this guy over me. Really? Really? And then throw the eyebrow up. And then one more time. Really? Like, right. Like he doesn't, he doesn't need to, like, he doesn't need to fucking debate anything. Yeah. And he doesn't need to worry about policy because who is he going to run up against? They don't have policy. Right. They don't, they don't have any fucking policy. So he doesn't have to answer. It's. It's a hundred percent charisma. Right, no, right, right. No the position. millions and, and millions of rocks voters. Wins. Like it's just, it's, it's going to be. He just wins. He, he just, just wins. wins. Right. And then wh- who do we? Bernie, Biden, Warren. They, they will be. They'll be dust. But Cory Booker is the closest thing I could think of who could look the part, and he was fanboying out when he got a chance to meet Triple H. And that was during the Trump fucking administration. Like, there's nobody on that side. And every one of your political analysts and everything else like that, your Bill Mars and all your other fucking people, they're going to scoff at it. But not a goddamn one of them is going to have a good reason why they shouldn't vote for Dwayne Johnson instead of what we already have. God, I hate this. (laughs) <laughs> and here's the thing without understanding his policies i don't know why i wouldn't either yeah well he's not he's not he's he's doing the aaron birth thing he's not very forthcoming on everything does he have to be he doesn't have to be at right because here's what i here's what i do know unless he is still doing steroids at the time he's probably not going to die in office he's probably going to be a lot of fun to watch He's probably not going to do a whole lot of fucking merit, and he's probably going to spend a lot of his time cutting promos and calling out fucking everybody because he doesn't have to work. He is one of the few people who wouldn't have to worry about playing favor to get reelected. Mm-hmm. He wouldn't have to kiss anybody's ass. 
He wouldn't have to play the fucking game. He wouldn't have to worry about his political capital. It doesn't work that way. Because ultimately, who's going to actually go out there and out fucking talk the rock? (laughs) Because when it comes to it, it, you can do all you want on the fucking bench, but he could literally ask someone to step outside. He, imagine he, him and Kevin McCarthy, right? They're talking about oh my they're God. talking about the debt yeah. ceiling, and Kevin yeah. McCarthy gets kicked out, and he's out on the fucking front lawn or whatever it is in the driveway doing a press conference talking about how unreasonable it is, and Dwayne Johnson walks right out the fucking front door, walks right up, looks yeah. at him, take your Rudy Poo ass off my White House lawn right now. This guy's a, and literally leans in. I don't know what this Rudy Poo thinks he's doing <laughs> in my White House, but trying to strong arm President Rock is not going to be it. So if you want to bring someone who actually understands how to form complete sentences and get something accomplished, <laughs> the, the rest of the party is welcome to sun someone. But until that happens, I'm not interested in arguing with idiots. I got enough of that already. And just I walks yeah. away I, I, and like, because <laughs> what the fuck are you going to do? What are you going to do? If if he is able to take on the psycho radicals in that on that he side, take on both I mean, sides be, it would be amusing because that's watch. the thing is like we Democrats got quite a few of them too. Like don't get me wrong, he's he's got every right to fucking go after both of them. And he could go after whoever the fuck he pleases. He doesn't need a press like, secretary. Him the rock shutting down Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> Would be worth Imagine Paul Heyman is his press secretary. <laughs> we full on go into it. We go hard in the paint. Okay, now I'm back. We again. go hard in the paint. Because look, now, look, back now we're fantasy booking the rest of the fucking cabinet. All right. Like no, Secretary again. of Defense, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Name another person. <laughs> look. Yeah. <laughs> You know who should be vice president? John Cena, because he could. John Cena is a great, like a great choice. They've, they've, they can talk about how they had their differences yeah. at WrestleMania 29, yeah. and they can talk about all of the other things and the Fruity Pebbles thing and the part time thing or yeah. whatever it is. And you know, yeah. I respected John because he follow, he, yeah. he he criticized me about my past and about my choice to go part time in wrestling <laughs> and full time in acting, and he's doing the same because he understood that a good idea is a good idea. And much like myself, yeah. I need someone who's willing to change their mind based on time and perspective. And that's why John Cena it will be John my Cena. running mode. And just literally the fucking, <laughs> da, 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 he fucking comes out fucking, Baby. right. Yeah, it just literally holds the towel down, USA on the fucking thing. And like, <laughs> God. All right. I'm back yeah. I'm back yeah. Back. Heyman on the Heyman mic. Heyman on the mic. With the fucking uh, press, fucking With fucking Fox bring on News, Bring on Stone... With fucking uh, Steve God Deasy. damn it. Oh my bring God. Bring on Stone Cold, the Secretary of Defense. Like, I just... I want a full fucking wrestling oh, cabinet. Yeah. I want a wrestling cabinet. That's what I want. I need it. Man. I need people who can barely wear suit jackets. I want, I want fanny packs to come back as corporate wear. I need to have everyone have fucking entrance music before it happens. <laughs> like, <laughs> dun, 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 break the glass. Dun, 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 like, dun, dun, right, right, right. <laughs> like, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman and our <laughs> president, Dwayne Johnson, like just, <laughs> fucking come on the reigning defending I'm, I'm two time world win oh, world God. war winning United States of America oh fuck the pin he needs a he belt. needs a belt he needs, he a, needs belt. a belt oh. fucking honestly book mm. him what does the presidential belt the fucking for? United oh. States championship that's what it does yes. he goes on to roll he wins big. the United States no he wins the US champion and while he is president no one takes that belt from him why because America <laughs> that's why that's why <laughs> Shit. I'm see? Back. Now I'm see? In. Now I'm see? in. Now I'm in. Look, look at how in. short now it I'm took in. me to I'm talk in. you in. into President in. Johnson. Yeah. Well, because Paul Heyman makes everything better. Paul Heyman is the disgruntled grandma Chinese 
sauce that you put on your mild food to make it yeah. better. She has he, that. He's that, got that, 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 that little pepper. He's got that, that, that little pepper. It just soaks right in and it sits there and it waits on the bottom of the bowl. It wastes in the yeah. bottom. It, it, it's it's yeah. Szechuan yeah. peppers. It wastes yeah. in the bottom of the bowl. Yeah. And you gotta it's, it's, you gotta churn that shit around. And just when you don't think them peppers are gonna hit you, bam! The peppers hit you, and all of a sudden you're like, whoo, that's a spicy meal. Yeah. But you're halfway yeah. through. You're fucking committed. He's he's <sighs> shutting down dumbasses. He's ta- oh like, my god, come, come on. on. I would love come him to on. Shut- mm. Come on. Imagine imagine on. Paul Heyman seeing Ducey's son. <laughs> Quick question before we dig into this: Is there a lesser Ducey than you? Is it just the two of you? Can I talk to your like little brother or something? I assume that <laughs> one of you has to be able to form a complete sentence. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like just actively, oh. aggressively going, just, I, just the whole fucking administration. Not, not lying. Not like aggressive aggressive but just kind of a i wish a motherfucker would kind of attitude yeah like just give him a just little. give him go a ahead little. go ahead what what do you need what's going on let's talk to somebody yeah. is is this what right. we're doing are you right. and sure? then immediately <laughs> sliding over my friend soledad o'brien soledad <laughs> like, like just Heyman, just turn it on a dime just being a sweetheart yeah Oh, like God. it'd be so good. I like it. Sorry, not good. Entertaining. Entertaining. But, it would be horrible. But it would yeah, be but you know what? Fuck it. Because if you don't get Vince involved, we've proven that they can market themselves to every single demographic across the fucking globe. They know how oh, to yeah. do relations with other things. There's literally like, a, you want to settle MBS down? Imagine he shows up. As president, while the fucking <laughs> WWE event is happening. Yeah. God. Like, uh. this is a president who could pick a fight with everyone, because what are you going to do? Because he's going to embarrass you. He's going to embarrass you, and your people are going to love him right, for it. Right, right, right. Like, you're fucked. Like, because... Cause that's everyone. That's all they have. It's like they're they're hold over their right. people. I, I, um, imagine he will win them I'm, over. He will imagine them. literally Electrify. someone deciding at the end of the first presidential debate that at the end they storm the thing or somebody breaks out a giant boombox and plays the Rock's theme and you literally all you hear is the Rock says no your damn roll as he's walking around shaking hands and people are scrambling to turn that thing off <laughs> nobody could fucking recover from that no one because they could joke around and say is this guy for real and then you go yeah but it's we voted right. Trump in so reasonably yeah. let's not pretend what's yeah. going on yeah it doesn't it doesn't you, matter right, like, we haven't we've thrown the, it doesn't work. It, imagine, so imagine if he just with, openly says, you know, we haven't had a a genuine, a genuinely impressive candidate in decades. Yeah. Like, just who cares? Who cares? P- pick that fight. Say decades. Make it broad as fuck. Yeah. Jesus. Throw both Bushes and Obama in there just for funsies. Just, uh, just let him pick a fight with fucking everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well. I, might as well might as well <laughs> might as well like <laughs> imagine stone cold in the un <laughs> what? i see you looking at me with those beady little eyes i know you got war what? on your mind and i'm telling you right now son don't come over unless you're ready i'll walk over there and stomp a mud hole in your ass and just like <laughs> He'd he'd be the only one to show up to excuse me, Mister. He show up to Congress in jorts. <laughs> excuse excuse me, sir. Uh, I'm the sergeant, Mr. Arms, Mr. Austin. And, um, you can't, you can't, you can't. What? Right, 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 right. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, nope, nope, right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's a double. Yeah. Hole. They made it in the 1800s. Yeah. No. Sorry. No. Please, by all means, tell me about rules and ethics. <laughs> please, tell me about rules and ethics. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Tell me about rules and ethics. 
Go ahead. Lecture me about them. By all means. Fucking stone cold. It'd be great. Hey, we, we can have a laundry list of people. Fucking, fucking John Cena is the tie-breaking vote in the... Oh, my God. Fucking Congress. Just fucking leaning into the camera, doing one of these and pressing the button. Just fucking... Yeah. God. <laughs> the, the goodwill that John Cena has on his back is The just, fact that he speaks, yeah. what, um, fluent Mandarin, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He, na- na- name another vice president that can speak fluent Mandarin, can deadlift the back of a Volkswagen, and was the goddamn peacemaker. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kamala doesn't even want to deal with the border. Nevertheless, fucking learn Chinese. Are you kidding me? Oh boy. Oh fucking. Right, right, right. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm almost thinking Joe Biden should bring Cena in as the running mate right now. Let's just do that, that right be, now. That would be so funny. It'd be a countdown clock to see when Joe dies. Yeah. <laughs> we get Cena. Right. <laughs> He just walks around. You know what would end up happening? He put Joe on top of his shoulders. He ended up fucking rocking around like fucking Master Blaster all the time. <laughs> Who run Barter right. Town? <laughs> I tell you what, Jack, I run Barter Town. <laughs> I run Barter Town. <laughs> I run Barter Town. Yep. <laughs> well, see, this is the problem. This is now turning into DeBush Jr. Because that's <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Strategy. <laughs> like. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. But like, yeah, Joe puts the fucking aviators on and starts telling stories about fucking him going and hanging out and with fighting that gang member popcorn and shit like that. And like, <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, Cena's down in the actual altitude doing all sorts of deals and signing things and what have you. Oh, man. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I think that's really what we should do. I think we should just fantasy book Biden's vice presidential candidate. Cause that's, that's, that's really what I want to know. Cause yeah. it can't, they're not going to go with Kamala again, are they? I, I mean, they haven't indicated that they're know. not, but like, they, yeah, they haven't, they haven't said anything about that. Um, just his announcement. Like they haven't built out the rest of the cabinet. I'm assuming they're just going to go with what they got. But who knows? Who knows? I mean, was Stone Cold right there? How do you? How do you not? I'm just <laughs> like he's not. He's not a flat earther like AJ Styles. Like we could do way worse. Fuck it. Oh no, I didn't oh, know. F- oh, AJ Styles is a total I, flat earther. I, oh my I, god. I, I did. Oh yeah. I did. Oh know. my god. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, on a no. clear day, you can see the Eiffel Tower from his house. Yeah. No, it's. it's no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> No. Yeah, no, you're you're thinking this, by the way. Phenomenal one. Did he did he do too many? I I, I, oh, I think this is no. the quality of a rural Georgia oh. education, is what it is. Boom. Yeah, I just uh, <laughs> you fly on planes. Yep, you? all around oh the world. Uh, flat Earth. Oh, the, <laughs> to Japan. You can't see Tokyo Tower from. Well, here. yeah, because it's too you far fuck. away, Jamie. The human eye isn't set that way. Duh. You got binoculars and shit. <laughs> it doesn't work. You dumb. <laughs> oh my god! I did not know that. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh <laughs> my god! Man. Anyway, so uh, my name is Brandon Chalmers. That's Jamie Noguchi. <laughs> we are the fucking Duo Cast, part of the Hard Knock Media Podcasting Network. Now, when I say NOC, I mean nerds of color. I mean Jamie, not me. I mean the rest of the podcast. Podcast network, not me. I mean, not AJ Styles because he couldn't see me if I ended up standing in Tokyo, but he believes he could. <laughs> and you can find all of us and all of our friends on the Hard Knock Media Podcasting Network at hardknockmedia.com. Jamie Noguchi, <laughs> where can they find you and your wares? <laughs> uh, Jamie Noguchi on TikTok, <laughs> Spotify, Instagram, uh, Angry Zen Master on Twitter. 
Find me wherever all this shit is God. sold. You know, put my name in yep, the find yep. you. You'll find stuff uh, yep. Like you. Brand new, where can people you find You can me? find me on Instagram at that guy Chalmers. <laughs> oh, man. This has been a stellar episode. Looking forward to Dwayne Johnson's presidency. <laughs> oh, John Cena for vice president. Uh, once again, I've been Brandon Chalmers. That's been Jamie Noguchi. Fucking do a cast. <laughs> Hard Knock Me a Podcasting <laughs> Network. Thank you very much. Have yourselves an excellent week. Be excellent to each other. I'll see you fucking later all right hit the one hit the button (laughs) so rock says no your goddamn podcast